started working on honeybees in 1979 and I've been lucky to be able to work on them ever since. So that's 33 years now I've been working with them. Well, I think most people recognise honeybees purely from a honey perspective, that they get honey on their breakfast tables. That's how they associate with honeybees. But in fact, it's the other food that people eat at their breakfast tables that they should be associating with the honeybees because the value of honeybees actually lays in the value that they add to food crops through their pollination activities. In Australia, uh, the value that honeybees add to crop yields every year amounts to about $4 billion. So that's where the real value of honeybees lie to our society. The Varroa destructomite is the most serious pest to have ever affected honeybees. Um, it jumped host from the Asian honeybees about 60, 70 years ago, and in that time, this tiny mite has spread around the planet on the European honeybees. Wherever it's gone, it's, uh, it's devastated honeybees. It's never been able to be eradicated from any country that it's got into, and uh, it's, Australia is really the only major country in the world that's now free of the mite. The mite is even present in New Zealand, which is more re remote than Australia. So we've been lucky uh, to a large extent you know, that we haven't got the mite, but I think it's just inevitable that this mite is going to get here. I'm what they call a bee pathologist. Uh, so basically I just look after the health of the honeybee. Um, and health covers everything. It covers everything from diseases to uh, nutrition. Um, as far as diseases go, there's a whole range of diseases uh, from viruses to bacteria, fungi. Over the last uh, 15, 20 years, I've been focusing in on a mite. Uh, but uh, there's other issues that I've looked at, at virus and, and nutrition. So uh, that's basically where I come from with honeybees. We have to uh, become more aware, that's the first thing, of the value of our honeybees. We take honeybees for granted. Uh, we don't really appreciate what they do for us. Um, I think we have to turn that around. We have to look at what honeybees, they can, how they contribute to food security uh, and the food that we eat. Um, we should be doing work to uh, protect them against some of these uh, nasties like the Varroa mite, which have basically been caused by human activity at the end of the day. Um, humans create these problems and uh, we have to address them. Um, I think what we've got to do in the case of Varroa mite, we just have to do more work and, uh, and try to protect the bee and hopefully eventually actually free it of this mite.